All right, Matt Og with Vite Media here, and I'm speaking with Coach Carr from Westbury Christian. So tell me, Coach, y'all have a lot of success this year. This is your second year with the program, second term. You've come back after yep. coaching from 06 to 13. So tell me, what's been like the key, the team's strength of this mm-hmm. program throughout this winter? Yeah, I, well, I think that they've been a very resilient group. We've we've had to uh, make constant adjustments because of injuries and uh, illness, and and you know our our starting point guard who who's been our starting point guard for the last three years. Uh, he had stress fractures in both feet, so he he didn't really start playing until January. And uh, you know we've had a little few injuries here and there, so it's really been impressive how resilient this group has been uh, to kind of stay the course. And you know we had a, I mean uh, the first part of our season we we played as many public schools as we could play. Uh, and so we we tried to make sure we stretched ourselves and tested ourselves the best we could, and uh, and I thought we did it. I thought we did a really really good job. I mean, I and so it's kind of starting to you know you now you're starting to feel like that you're peaking a little bit, which is what you want to do is kind of start peaking about this time. Oh, definitely. I mean, the postseason that's where it yeah. all really matters. Uh, right. You uh, so. You can talk about that resiliency, and you got yeah. a lot of good players. Obviously, Jason Scott's up there. He's averaging just under 23 points a game. Has Who else has been some of your key contributors or playmakers as you uh, yeah. reach the latter half of the winter? Yeah, well, you know, of course, Jason has, has been phenomenal and, and done a great job of, um, you know, not only scoring, but, but he just does so much more. He's a great rebounder. Um, he, he really helps keep us a little bit level. And then, you know, to have Troy Page, our point guard, uh, one of our point guards back uh, and as a senior leader, he, he's done a really, really good job, especially in the second half. And uh, to have some injuries to, to now to really kind of feeling like he's back to himself is, is really, you know, again, between Troy, Jason, and then Sebastian Mackey, who's another senior you know, they, they just give you, you, you as a coach, you, you know, that experience and that leadership and those guys, you know, you, you definitely have a much better feeling when they're on the floor. And Sebastian is, uh, was new to our program, came in last spring and has done a really, really great job of uh, becoming a big part of, of who we are. And, and then, you know, uh, Cooper Harworth is a senior uh, there's not a kid that, you know, every time out, whether it be practice or games, you, he has used everything he has. Like, there's nothing left in the tank. And um, and then, you know, we have a couple of uh, sophomores, Amir Thomas and Javian Cummings, that uh, kind of round out that group. And, and they're just getting, you know, you're, you're getting to watch kids grow right in front of your eyes. And so that's always a good feeling. And to have, have a little bit of uh, some experience and some um, – um, older guys with those younger guys, it, it makes for a good mix. Um, and uh, it's, it's really good to, to watch that happen. And, uh, you know, we have a, a kid that comes off the bench for us, King Anderson, does a great job. He's a junior and a lefty shooter. And, and so, um, you know, it's just a, it's a really good group. And they, they work very hard. They're, they're studious. They're, they're fun to be around. And, you know, it, uh, the idea, you know, you always want to win, but winning with good people and, and low maintenance people, uh, that's that's the ticket. And that, that's what makes it enjoyable. I can imagine. I feel like that's probably the most gratifying experience as yeah. a coach is yeah. kind of seeing that unfold before your eyes. Uh, last yeah. question. You got a tough St. Francis team you're uh, getting ready to play against. So what do you think is going to be the key to victory as you head into uh, the TAPS Final Four? Yeah, I mean, we uh, they're, they're very, very good, very, very talented, very, very well coached. There, there's not very many holes in their game. And, you know, it's one of those kind of things that uh, I, I think that we have a chance, but we just have to do, you know, everybody has to take responsibility for their job and do their job extremely well. And, uh, and, and if they do that, it, it's what's going to give us the best chance to be successful and um, you know, because St. Francis, I mean, like I said, they're good. I mean, they, 
uh, you know, great, great players and, and very well coached. And so, you know, we, we're going to have a plan the best we can, and it's just about our executing. And even then, you know, we – you, know, you have to leave the game feeling satisfied that you did everything you could to be successful and and you, you walk away and you, you got to feel good about that. And so I think if we do that, you know, it, it gives us the best shot. And that, that's what you want at the end of the day is, is an opportunity. And so to have it, I think is, um, you know, I, I think we'll do what we need to do to be there. All right. All right. Well, we're really looking forward to seeing how this unfolds. Taps 3A on the line. Uh, well, good luck to you, Coach, and uh, yeah. we'll for y'all. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. Right, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.